Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this procedure safely. In this video, we will show one or more of these icons to alert you when to use caution. Before you replace the starter rope, first make sure the engine has cooled. Next, you should remove the wire and boot from the spark plug to prevent the engine from accidentally starting. Now remove the nuts securing the recoil starter to the engine. Pull the starter off and set it on a sturdy surface. If still intact, extend the rope. Secure the pulley with a small screwdriver. Then remove the knotted end of the rope from the handle and untie it. Slide the handle off. Now, while holding the pulley, carefully release the tension on the recoil spring. Use pliers to retrieve the end of the rope and unwind the rope from the pulley. Align the knotted end of the rope with the open slot in the starter housing and pull the old rope out. You're now ready to install the new starter rope. Tie a knot at one end of the new rope. Then feed the opposite end through the hole in the pulley. With the knot fully seated, wind the rope around the pulley in a clockwise direction. Once wound, rotate the pulley counterclockwise three or four times to put tension on the recoil spring. Hold the pulley as you feed the rope through the slot and bushing in the starter housing. Extend the rope, secure the pulley, and feed the rope through the handle. Tie a knot and secure the knot in the handle. Release the pulley and carefully allow the rope to rewind. Reinstall the recoil starter by aligning it on the mounting posts. Then thread the nuts to secure. You're now ready to reattach the wire and boot to the spark plug and confirm that the recoil starter works properly.